اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے وی ار گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ دس کلاس اینڈ ہیر وی ول لرن ہاؤ ٹو بلڈ اے ویب سائٹ یوزنگ ورڈ پریس سو اف یو ار ان دس کلاس دس مین یو وانٹ ٹو میک اے ویب سائٹ سو آئی ول آس سم اف یو واٹ کائنڈ اف ویب سائٹ ڈو یو وانٹ ٹو میک سو فرسٹ اسٹوڈنٹ وی ہیو از مس حفصا Miss Hafsa, what Sir, kind of website do you want to make? What? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So what kind of website do you want to make? What kind of website? Uh, okay, you better I think for a moment because... In this class, we are going to make websites and we will do everything practically. Each student will practically participate in this class. Next, uh, Mr. Muhammad Umar. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. So, Mr. Muhammad, what kind of uh, website do you want to make? What type of website? Want... So, this is say again, please. What type of website do you want to make? I want to make website uh, WordPress HTML. WordPress HTML. Do you know anything about WordPress? WordPress, uh, online client teaching. Sorry? Online client teaching. Okay, so basically you are on a client tutor and you want to make a tutoring website. Am I right? Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, right. Do you know anything about the WordPress? No, no more. Okay, you don't know anything. No problem, it is easy. Inshallah, we'll study in it. But uh, do you have a laptop? Yeah, Alhamdulillah, I have a laptop. Okay, because in this class, we need a laptop from every student. So, the moment wants to make a website, online tutoring next student uh, miss sonia are you here yes. sonia can you hear us or not yes i can hear you okay what kind of website do you want to make i want to make uh, online teaching okay so you are also a online tutor and you want to make a website for online tutoring. So we have two votes for online tutoring. Okay. Next student we have Miss Vidad. What about you? Why you want to learn this course? What kind of website do you want? It's just for my own knowledge, that's all. Okay, you just came here for knowledge. Okay, do you have a laptop for this class? I do. Okay, I'm good. on it. Then we have a few more students here. Miss Nasreen Bano. Can you hear us? Miss Ruhi. Okay, no problem. These are, I think, just uh, listeners. So, in this course, inshallah, we will make a website for online tutoring. Okay, in which the students will visit the website, they will register, and we will probably also allow the students to make appointments with their teachers. I will try to show you a few examples. And because examples will help you understand what kind of website you are going to make here. Yes.
So these are the different website that we have already made in the past for different teachers, for myself and from some other teachers as well. So what do you see in this website? This is a simple page here. We have some introduction about the website. Then we have a video of our tutor as well. So for the introduction of the tutor, for male and female tutor, then we have a picture. Then we have uh, displayed some features of the our classes. Here we are displaying the reviews of our previous students, what they have given to us. Then we are telling them how can they get started with us. Here they have a simple registration form. They can fill this form. They can decide their subject as well. And they can decide their level. And here we one more thing that we allow them to decide the fee theirself. They can choose the currency and they can decide the fees themselves as well. So in this way, they can register on the tutor website and they can continue the learning with him. Then here we have another example in which we are not offering live classes, but instead where the teacher puts the recording of his or her classes here and student can enroll in the course or can start learning with the course directly for example let me click here let me try this one when anyone clicks on start learning they see an interference like this where they see the list of all lectures available and here uh, they see the video of the lesson, they can watch the video and then they can learn from it. We can add some more functions here like uh, allow the, allowing the students to ask different questions and stuff like this as well. We can allow them this as well. <clears throat> then here I have another website which is uh, which has quite a simple design. So here again, the students can come here and they can see the reviews of our previous student on Trustpilot. Trustpilot is an independent website which people use for getting the authentic reviews. So it is a brand which people trust. So we can display their reviews on our website in order to gain the trust of the students as well. So here we have written the details of our class and Again, we have a simple uh, registr uh, registration form which the student can fill and they can register with us. Then here's another website design that we have created. This is uh, more colorful. People like this kind of design as well. So here, all the pricing, demo class, different subjects are mentioned here. They can also click on this button. <clears throat> and whenever anyone click here, it will take them to the WhatsApp. Then here are the links of the social media account of the tutor. They can make an appointment for the free try class here as well. Here some subjects are mentioned and everything. Here a message from the tutor is also given, which we can add audio as well. Then price. Here we can mention the price of the each class that teacher takes. And in this way we can continue. So these are the different designs that you have seen here. Then there is another design that we can make. Here a video is played in the background and in front different subjects are mentioned which students can learn on this website. They can also make a appointment for the free try class. They can see the pricing here as well. And here independent subjects are mentioned here which student can enroll. So beside this, we can also make a blog where we can put different things related to the knowledge and people can visit them as well. And also just like here, I show you, you can uh, upload your recorded lectures as well, which can people enroll and learn from it. So since you all wanted to create a website for online tutoring. So we will make a website for online tutoring. Now the question how to make a website. 
so there are many softwares which make things quite easy for us like making the website we don't need any kind of uh, prior experience or knowledge for making a website only thing we need is a laptop and we can easily make a website <coughs> using the software called wordpress wordpress is basically a cms content management system which we use to manage our website we will ensure a learn in learn in, uh, in detail okay so here <coughs> we have a student <coughs> so what is the first thing we need for the website first thing we need is a domain name so the first student mr muhammad umar do you know what is domain yeah sir i know domain is a very special name uh, every people find you with your name correct so domain is basically the name of the website for example this website that you see here its name is learn quran and arabic.org this website that you see here <coughs> its name is islamictutor.com this website you see here its name is road to success.pk this website that you see here its name is arabicvillage.net this website that you see here its name is road to success.net so domain is basically a name of the website which we need to buy online without domain we cannot make a website it is a unique name and only one person can have one name for example let's suppose i have bought, i have bought this name learn quran in arabic then no one else in the whole world can buy this name so mr muhammad umar do you want, what kind of domain name do you want for your website i want to abdul latif online quran academy abdul latif online quran academy What is the spelling of academy? Academy. So good for you that this name is available because usually whenever we search for a domain name, someone has already bought that name and it is difficult for us to buy that name. But the question is, what kind of domain name shall we buy for our, our website? So just like I told you, most of the domain names, for example, let's suppose you are a Quran tutor and you want to make a website for with the name learnquran.com. Now, definitely this name is not available because someone has already bought this name and we cannot purchase it. So you see here, someone has already purchased this name. This means we cannot make a website with the name Lan Quran. So the difficult thing in domain is this, that these are not available. So we need to uh, decide a name, which is unique. The first thing is it must be unique. Otherwise, we will not be able to purchase it. Second thing, it should be easy, short, and easy. Third thing, which is uh, very difficult, I will say, it should be related to your website or related to the service you are providing. So first thing you need to remember that domain name must be unique because we can only one person can buy one domain in the whole world. So we need a unique name. Second thing, it should be short and easy to remember. 
For example, look at the all websites, famous website, facebook.com, google.com, yahoo.com. What is the unique thing about them? Their names are short and easy to remember. If the name is difficult, it is not good for uh, getting the visitors. <clears throat> the third thing which is which has become almost impossible these days that it should be related to your service. For example, you are a Islamic Twitter, so the name islamictwitter.com is not available. If you want to teach Quran, then the best name is learnquran.com. It is not available. If you want to teach Arabic, the best name is learnarabic.com, which is of course not available. So this is the problem. We need to find a unique name and simple name. In case of Mr. Muhammad, the name that you told us is available, but the problem is this, it is very long name. I recommend you to uh, find some short name, okay? Maybe one word or maybe maximum two word in the name, okay? Yes, sir, okay. So let's suppose your name is Abdul Latif Online Quran Academy. Think about shortening it. And until that, I will ask the next student. Miss Sonia, do you have any name in your mind for your website? Al Quran Online. Learn Quran online. I don't think it will be available because it is a very common name. So let's see if it is available or not. It is not available. Okay. Al Quran. Al Quran. Okay. But here we have to note one thing. This name, which is quite easy to remember, and it is available. So remember this thing, learnquranonline.org. And Al-Quran, I don't think it is also available. Yes, it is not available, Miss Sonia. Any other name? Sonia, yes. can you hear us? Yes, I hear you. Do you have any other name in your mind? I recommend you to buy this name, learnquranonline.org because it is related to the service you are providing. It is easy to remember as well. It is not very short, but it, it is quite easy to remember. So I recommend you to buy this name. And here you see that price is $20 for the domain purchase and 20 for the protection. I don't think we need this thing. This is useless. So just remove it, remove from the cart and rest uh, around $20, you can get it. So there are many uh, websites which sell the domain. You can purchase it from any of them, okay? So Mr. Muhammad Umar and Miss Sonia, before the next class, we, you need to buy our domain name. You can buy any domain name that you want. Just like today, I told you how to buy a domain name. If you need any assistance in how to uh, purchasing, how to purchase the domain name, you can ask me. I will assist you, inshallah, okay? There are many websites which uh, sell domain names. So you can just search on Google by domain name so you will find many websites which are selling domain name uh, just type the name of the website on each the one which will offer you the best price by the domain from that company okay and second thing you need to remember that you don't need this privacy and protection this is the waste of money it is a useless thing so every website will ask you to purchase this, just remove it and save some money, okay?
so twenty dollar let's suppose twenty one dollars to PKR. So twenty dollar is around something like this. If you want to save some money, you can decrease the time duration. It will save you some more money. So you need a domain name before the next class. What is the second thing that we need for the website? So first thing you need is a domain name. Second thing you need is a hosting. hosting so what is hosting mr sonia or mr umar do you know anything about web hosting yes or no do you know something or not no. sorry what no no you don't know mr umar do you know something about web hosting yeah i know so what is web hosting? Hosting is uh, uh, your website. Uh, I think. Uh, okay, let me tell you what is web hosting. Okay, so web hosting is basically a computer where the files of our website are placed. For example, if I enter this address, learnquran.org, what happens? Your browser goes to that computer picks the file from that computer and display it on your screen so basically it is a computer which remain online 24 by 7 so that whenever anyone open your website the browser will go to that computer the internet browser will pick the files from that computer and will display on your screen okay so every website need a hosting service so all these website that you see here they are basically uh, available in some computer when i am opening these website the browser goes to that computer picks the file from there and display it on my screen so it must remain online 24 by 7 so again hosting is a thing which we need to purchase but i have already purchased hosting so i can share it with you for free okay so for learning purpose you don't need to purchase any hosting uh, just uh, when you will have your own domain name i will allow you to host your domain on my hosting because i have already about it for my websites so it is plenty you can use it that as well okay so but if you want to purchase your own hosting then try to uh, purchase a good hosting with good speed my hosting is little slow because i purchased the cheapest one so hosting is uh, around i think six dollars per month the price of the hosting is around six dollars on average it is six dollars per month so for learning purpose i can give you free hosting no need to worry about it you can learn from it but for if you want to buy your own, you can easily buy it from the internet. There are many websites. Just search on the Google, buy hosting, and you will find many websites which are selling the hosting. 
So domain name, <coughs> it will cost you around $10 per year. It is cheap thing, not expensive. But uh, hosting, it will cost you around $6 per month. I can give you free hosting for learning purpose, okay? <coughs> now, if you have any question, you can ask me. Does anybody has any question? Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum salam. So I have a question for you. Yes. So does domain and hosting have to be from same company or it can be from separate? Sorry, I did not understand again. So say I have my own um, website. So yeah. you said I have to uh, have a domain and a hosting. Yes. Do they have to be from the same company? No, you can buy it from different company. For example, in this case, the student will buy a domain from a company. Mm -hmm. Then they will tell me that I, I have purchased the domain. I will give them free hosting service. So they can buy it from anywhere in the world. It does not matter. Okay. You can buy a domain okay. from different company and you can buy a hosting from a okay. different company, and another different website. Okay. 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 So one more thing. Yes. Again, so I have my domain name. Yes. So anybody can access it, of course, but it doesn't have to be. I mean, once I have a domain name, uh, sorry, once I have a hosting, I guess. So any language that I, people use, Yahoo or Google, as long as they put the name, they should be able to reach me. Or yes. reach the website. <clears throat> yes. For example, I have bought this name Lun Quran and Arabic Orology. Now, anyone, whenever they will enter this uh, phrase Lun Quran and Arabic, they will see my website. Mm -hmm. Similarly, if anyone enter this name Islamic Tutor, they will see the website. So it is available around the globe. Okay. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Second, third thing that you will need is to share the screen. For example, in the next class, when we'll, we will practically start building the websites, I will ask all of you to one by one share the screen and practically perform the things on your laptop, which I will tell you how to perform them, okay? So, Mr. Muhammad Umar, do you know how to share the screen on Zoom? Sorry, again. Do you know how to share the screen on Zoom? I know, I know, sir. I used before the Zoom a very long time. Okay, you need to learn this, okay? You can just search on Google how to share the screen on Zoom and then you will see how to share the screen on Zoom, okay? Okay, sir. Miss Sonia, do you know how to share the screen on Zoom? Yes, I know. Okay, let us practically do something. Share your screen. Now, in the new tab, search by domain name.com, by domain on your internet browser search by domain okay. yes search by domain now open first five websites in a new tab okay open first five domains uh, first five websites in a new tab go back 
try the next website. No, this is not the website. Go back. Now wait, scroll down. Open this in a new tab. Right click and then you will see the option of new tab. You have done the left click. Okay. Now search the name that you want to purchase. First close this. Now type in the name that you want to purchase. <clears throat> now click on search. Search again, go back and search again. This time type online as well. Learn Quran online. <clears throat> there is some problem in this website you can try that other websites okay so before the next class try to purchase a domain and then inshallah we'll continue studying next time okay anybody any question no question so we'll stop here see you all next time inshallah ma salama Assalamu alaikum.